talk about multimeters, we're talking about a device or a meter that does multiple things. Typically, we're talking about a voltmeter, amp meter, and ohm meter. There's other devices or other checks on here, but those are what we're primarily going to talk about. The first one we turn it on is a voltmeter. This particular meter has voltage AC and voltage DC on the same setting of the dial. In order to change it, you have to hit the mode button. For example, if I've got my meter leads here, I'm going to put my red one on positive, and I'm going to put my black one on the ground, or negative. Now it says I have 12.57 on this battery. All that's saying is my red lead reads 12.57, or volts. My black lead reads zero. What is the difference between those two? 12.57, that's the only thing a voltmeter does. Next feature on this one is we have diode check for checking a diode. We have continuity check if you're just seeing if a wire or circuit has continuity. We have ohm meter and we also have the ability to check a capacitor. What I'm going to check is just a standard five pin relay. This particular one, once we get a good connection here, is 87.5 ohms. Well, if you don't know what the spec is, it doesn't do you any good. All you know is what the resistance is. It's important to know what you're reading and know what it's supposed to be. Kind of summarize what we talked about today is multimeter is a very, very handy and very accurate piece of equipment. In order to use it, though, you have to understand what it's telling you. That's why we've developed a training program for technicians so they can get the most out of the multimeters they use.